The life cycle of floor care reflects the stages of maintenance processes that a typical floor undergoes as the floor is stripped, coated, maintained, and then eventually stripped again. A floor properly coated and maintained can virtually last indefinitely, avoiding costly stripping procedures. Most floors are subjected to excessive traffic and soils and a less than adequate maintenance program. This causes the life of the protective coating to be shortened dramatically. This video addresses the three phases of the life cycle of floor care, routine, interim, and restorative maintenance. Proper routine maintenance is required to maintain the desired appearance level of the floor and extend the time between interim and restorative maintenance procedures. Maximum floor appearance can only be achieved when the floor coating is as clean and smooth as possible. The following graphics will help illustrate the process and benefits of performing proper routine maintenance. A properly coated floor with a smooth, clean surface protects the floor, providing excellent shine and easier maintenance. As the floor is exposed to traffic and soils, the surface is attacked. Soils penetrate the protective coating and cause the film to become rough, less slip resistant and less reflective. In order to extend the life of the floor finish, routine maintenance needs to be performed. Routine maintenance should include the use of adequate floor matting to prevent damaging soils from being tracked onto the floor. Keeping the bulk of the soils at the door is a very effective way to keep floors looking great. Routine maintenance also includes regular dust mopping to remove soil and debris that can cause premature deterioration of the floor finish. Additionally, daily damp mopping or automatic scrubbing with a neutral or daily cleaner removes soils that a dust mop may leave behind. When the daily mopping no longer produces the desired appearance levels, a restorer product should be used to clean and condition the top layer of finish. The floor is then burnished, restoring it to a smooth, reflective shine. This process will also extend the time before the interim maintenance method of top scrubbing and recoating will need to be performed. Now, let's see how the routine maintenance procedure is performed. To perform the necessary routine maintenance, you'll need the following supplies from Betco's professional floor care program. A neutral cleaner or daily cleaner. Betco One-Step Restorer. Betco's Easy Task Spray Buff, a Betco Professional Automatic Floor Scrubber or Standard Floor Machine and Wet Dry Vac, Premium Value Red Scrub Buff Pads, a Betco High Speed Burnisher, a Betco Burnish Pad, and a Betco Upright or Backpack Vacuum Cleaner. The following maintenance supplies will also be used. A long-handled floor scraper or putty knife, a clean, dry dust mop, bucket and wringer, caution signs, and an all-purpose wet mop. Before beginning with any cleaning task, be sure that you fully understand how to use the chemicals and equipment required for the job. It is mandated by OSHA that every employee has a right to know about the possible chemical hazards within their workplace. A material safety data sheet, commonly called an MSDS, will provide information regarding the chemicals within your building. Read and understand the MSDS as well as the product label for every product that you use. Wear the proper personal protective equipment or PPE to protect you from exposure to cleaning chemicals. Goggles or mask and gloves will prevent chemical splashes from coming into contact with your skin and eyes. Always wear the appropriate footwear for wet surfaces. Accidents will be limited when the proper caution signs are posted prior to cleaning, such as wet floor signs. The following maintenance procedures should be performed daily. Thoroughly vacuum all floor matting to remove soils and prevent them from being trapped onto the floor. Remove the matting so the floor can be cleaned. A long handle scraper or putty knife should be used to remove stickers, gum and other debris adhered to the floor surface. Using a clean, dry dust mop, carefully sweep the entire floor surface, removing soils. Dispose of the soils properly. Not removed, these soils will damage the floor finish film and cause premature deterioration of the finish. Fill the automatic scrubber with cool water and the selected floor cleaner per label directions. Attach the premium value red scrub pad to the scrubber and be sure wet floor signs are properly placed. With the squeegee down, vacuum motor on and brushes engaged, scrub the entire floor area. 
Once the floor is dry, it's ready to be burnished if desired. If the area is smaller or an auto scrubber is not available, use a mop and bucket, standard floor machine, and wet dry vacuum. Mop on the cleaning solution. Allow it to dwell for five minutes. Scrub with the floor machine and attached premium value red scrub pad and then pick up the liquid with a wet dry vac. When cleaning with a daily cleaner alone no longer produces the desired level of appearance, it's time to use a restorer product on the floor. Petco One Step Restorer cleans and conditions the top layer of finish, enhancing appearance and slip resistance. Petco One Step Restorer can be applied using a mop, 1 to 128 dilution, or automatic scrubber, 1 to 64 dilution. We'll be using an automatic scrubber to demonstrate this procedure. Prepare the area the same as when cleaning the floor. Vacuum and remove matting. Loosen soils with scraper and dust mop. Always place caution signs before applying cleaners. Fill the automatic scrubber solution tank with cool water and Betco One Step Restorer per label directions. Attach the premium value red scrub pads to the automatic scrubber. Scrub the entire floor area. Once dry, Burnish the floor back to a smooth, clean, highly reflective shine. Always burnish after using Betco One Step Restorer. Select the proper Betco burnishing pad and burnishing machine. Burnish the area until all the scuff marks, black heel marks, or scratches are removed. Dust mop the entire area to remove any residue from the floor. Another routine maintenance method is spray buffing. Prepare the area the same as when cleaning the floor as previously demonstrated. Betco's specially formulated Easy Task Spray Buff is designed to remove scuffs, black marks, and is effective when used with low-speed floor machines and the recommended pad. Apply Easy Task Spray Buff sparingly to the area being buffed. Using the floor machine at red pad, buff the area until all soils, scuffs, and black marks are removed. After spray buffing has been completed, the area should be dust mopped to remove any residue from the floor. Remember to clean your equipment and supplies after each use. Clean equipment works better, lasts longer, and will make your next floor job easier. To clean the automatic scrubber, remove the squeegee, floor pads, and pad drivers. Rinse with hot water and hang to dry. Drain and rinse out the solution tanks. Check the batteries and recharge if necessary. To clean the floor machine, remove the pad and pad driver and rinse the soil from the pad. Drain and rinse out the wet dry vac tank. Remove and rinse the squeegee blades and wipe the outside of the unit. Completely rinse and wipe down all other equipment used and return them to their proper storage area. Let's review what we've accomplished. Routine maintenance will make your floor look better and last longer. Performed properly, routine maintenance will extend the time between top scrubbing or stripping your floors. Remember the steps we performed. One, gather safety items. Two, gather maintenance supplies. Three, routine cleaning, vacuuming mats, dust mopping, damp mopping, or automatic scrubbing with a floor cleaner. Four, using a restorer. Five, spray buffing. Six, clean equipment and supplies. When routine maintenance no longer produces the desired appearance level, it will be necessary to move on to the next phase in the life cycle of floor care. Interim maintenance, or commonly called top scrub and recoat, is the next phase in the life cycle of floor care. This procedure is used when routine maintenance no longer produces the desired appearance levels and if further deterioration occurred, the floor would require stripping. During the top scrub and recoat process, the top dirty layers of the floor finish are removed. Then two or more coats of finish are applied to restore the original shine of the floor. This allows the floor care program to start over at the beginning of the life cycle with routine maintenance. Now let's see how the actual process of top scrub and recoat is performed. Before you begin the top scrub and recoat procedure, you'll need the following supplies from Betco's professional floor care program. 
you'll need Betco's Best Scrub Cleaner or Daily Scrub SC. Your choice of Betco floor finish, Betco automatic scrubber or standard floor machine, a wet dry vac, and Betco premium value green or blue scrub pad. The proper finish can be determined by using the Betco floor finish maintenance guide. Betco has the right finish for low maintenance programs, burnishing once or less per week, medium maintenance programs, burnishing three times per week, or for a frequent maintenance program, burnishing every day. In addition, you'll need these additional maintenance items. A long-handled floor scraper or putty knife, a baseboard scrub kit, a clean untreated dust mop, doodle bug, floor squeegee, quick coat 2 applicator or clean mop buckets and ringers, mop handle, two all-purpose wet mops, a finish mop, and a trash liner. As with any cleaning task, remember to use the proper safety equipment, protective goggles, gloves, wet floor signs, and proper wet area footwear. Now you're ready to begin the scrub and recoat process. You'll need to prepare the area you'll be cleaning by removing any furniture or other items. Using a floor scraper, remove stickers, gum, tape, or other debris. Then dust mop or sweep the floor. Next, you'll prepare your equipment and cleaning solution. Fill the auto scrubber with cold water and best scrub cleaner or daily scrub SC at appropriate dilutions. Either product is formulated to clean away the top dirty layers of floor finish. Neither products produce excessive foam, so they won't cause your auto scrubber to shut down or ruin the vac motor. Next, attach a green scrub pad to the auto scrubber. Before scrubbing, use a doodle bug and top scrub solution along the edges and hard to reach areas. Squeegee the solution into the path of the scrubber for pickup. To ensure all embedded soils are removed, we recommend a double scrub method. This is accomplished by applying the top scrub solution with the squeegee up and the vac motor off. Apply the solution over a section of the floor, allowing the solution to sit on the floor a few minutes as you scrub the area. As you begin the second pass, drop the squeegee and turn on the vac motor. Pick up the solution and then check the floor again. If there is still embedded dirt and discoloration, the floor most likely needs to be stripped. If the floor is clean, you're ready to apply new finish. For obstructed areas, or if an auto scrubber is not available, use a mop and bucket, Betco floor machine, and a wet dry vac. Apply the top scrub solution with a mop. Scrub the floor with the standard floor machine using a green or blue pad and recover the solution with the wet dry vac. As with the automatic scrubber, use the doodle bug to scrub baseboards or hard to reach areas. After the area is cleaned, fill the auto scrubber with clean, cool water and detail rinse. If you did not have an auto scrubber, simply fill a mop bucket with clean, cool water and detail rinse the floor. Be sure to mop the edges or hard to reach areas that the scrubber may have missed. Allow the floor to dry. A fan may be used to speed this process. Check the floor with the palm of your hand to be sure there isn't any residue that may interfere with the new floor finish. If a white powder comes off on your hand, you'll need to detail rinse again. Your objective is to have a clean, dry, film-free floor to begin the application of the new finish. The preferred method of applying floor finish is with the Betco Quick Coat 2 applicator system. This tool will quickly and effectively assist you to professionally apply floor finish. Start by rinsing out the applicator mop and attach mop and head to the handle. Choose the appropriate Betco floor finish and place it in the Quick Coat 2 backpack. We recommend first puddling the finish to saturate the mop head. Simply squeeze the trigger to release the finish as needed. If the finish is to be applied close to the wall, then run the applicator sideways along the wall first. There are different techniques for applying the finish, but the following is recommended. First, box out the area to be finished, but no larger than 8 feet by 20 feet. Squeeze the trigger as you outline the area to apply enough finish on the floor. Use an overlapping figure 8 motion to evenly spread the finish. If more finish is needed, squeeze the trigger as the applicator head passes in front of you versus on the turns. 
Do not constantly squeeze the trigger or too much finish will be applied. The weight of the applicator head and the overlapping figure eight motion will evenly spread out the finish. Any ridges can easily be corrected and smoothed over with the applicator. Add more finish if streaking is apparent. Typically, 1,000 square feet can be coated in less than 10 minutes with Quick Coat 2. Simply use a can liner to store your applicator between coats. To change bags, turn the valve to the off position and unscrew the L connector and tubing. Attach a new bag and turn the valve back on. If the Quick Coat 2 applicator is not available, place a plastic trash liner in a clean bucket with a wringer. Choose a floor finish that best fits your maintenance program and desired level of appearance. Pour the finish into the bucket with the liner. Using a clean and well rinsed out finish mop, apply the coating to the floor. Start by boxing out the area to be finished, normally no larger than 8 by 20 feet. Then apply the finish using an overlapping figure 8 motion. Normally two coats of finish will be applied during this process. Keep the first coat about one tile's width away from the wall and then coat all the way to the edge on your second coat. After 10 minutes of drying, you can increase the airflow in the room by using a floor fan. Position the fan toward the ceiling to circulate the air. Conventional floor finishes will require approximately 30 minutes to dry under normal temperature and humidity conditions. Elevated temperature and humidity may extend the dry time. However, if you're using Betco Express fast drying floor finish, you may use the drying fan immediately after the finish is applied. This finish will dry and cure within 10 minutes. Now that the entire area is scrubbed and recoated, begin the cleanup process. Clean equipment works better, lasts longer, and helps make the next floor job easier. Remove the squeegee, floor pad, and floor pad driver from the auto scrubber. Rinse them with hot water and hang to dry. Drain and rinse out both tanks on the scrubber. Check the batteries and place the scrubber on recharge if necessary. If you used a standard floor machine, remove the pad and pad driver and rinse the soil from the pad. Drain and rinse out the wet dry vac tank, remove and rinse the squeegee blades, and wipe the outside of the unit. Completely rinse and wipe any other equipment, including the Quick Coat 2 applicator, and return them to their proper storage area. Let's review what we've demonstrated. When a floor doesn't respond anymore to spray buffing, burnishing, or other routine maintenance, it's time to remove the top dirty layers of finish and replace them with new protection. Remember the steps we performed during interim maintenance. One, gather your supplies. Two, prepare the area. Three, prepare the chemicals and equipment. Four, determine the scrubbing method. Five, detail rinse. Six, apply new finish. Seven, clean up. Remember to use Betco Best Scrub or Daily Scrub SC, the proper Betco finish and Betco's Quick Coat 2 applicator for professional results. The final phase of the life cycle of floor care is restorative maintenance. Over time, traffic and soils take their toll on the finish and the routine and interim maintenance procedures may no longer produce the desired results. When this happens, a procedure known as stripping and refinishing is required. The stripping procedure involves the use of specially formulated floor strippers. When applied, the stripping solution emulsifies the soiled layers of finish. The emulsified finish is then agitated with a scrubbing machine and black pad, completely removing all layers of the finish. The slurry is then easily removed with a wet dry vac or automatic scrubber. This leaves the floor surface clean, film free and ready for new layers of finish which will restore the floor to its original beauty. Now let's see how the restorative maintenance procedure is performed. Before you begin the restorative maintenance procedure, you'll need the following supplies from Betco's professional floor care program. You'll need to choose the proper Betco finish stripper, the recommended Betco floor finish, the appropriate Betco automatic scrubber or standard floor machine, and wet dry vac, Betco poor man stripper applicator, Betco stripping machine, and appropriate Betco stripping pad. 
The proper finish can be determined by using the Betco Floor Finish Maintenance Guide. Betco has the right finish for low maintenance programs, burnishing once or less per week, medium maintenance programs, burnishing three times per week, or for a frequent maintenance program, burnishing every day. In addition, you'll need these additional maintenance items. A long-handled floor scraper or putty knife, a baseboard scrub kit, a clean untreated dust mop, doodle bug, floor squeegee, buckets and ringers, mop handle, two all-purpose wet mops, a finish mop and a trash liner, or a quick coat two applicator. As with any cleaning task, remember to use the proper safety equipment, protective goggles, gloves, wet floor signs, and proper wet area footwear. Now you're ready to begin the strip and recoat procedure. You'll need to prepare the area you'll be stripping by removing any furniture or other items. Using a floor scraper, remove stickers, gum, tape, or other debris. Fill one mop bucket with clean, cool water for detail mopping. Fill another mop bucket or Betco Poor Man Stripper Applicator with the properly diluted stripping solution. Attach the black strip pad to the automatic scrubber or stripping machine and be sure the wet floor signs are properly placed. Apply the stripper solution freely to the floor. Allow the solution to stand for five to 10 minutes, being careful to not let the solution dry. If the stripping solution does dry, simply apply more solution to the area and re-scrub. Before stripping, use a doodle bug and stripping solution or Axit baseboard stripper along the edges and hard to reach areas. Then squeegee the solution into the path of the scrubber for pickup. To ensure all existing finish is removed, we recommend a double scrub method. Apply the solution over a section of the floor, allowing it to dwell for 10 minutes. Start scrubbing with the squeegee up and the vac motor off. As you begin the second pass, drop the squeegee and turn on the vac motor. Pick up the solution and then check the floor for any residual finish. For obstructed areas, or if an automatic scrubber is not available, use a mop and bucket, Betco floor machine, and a wet dry vac to strip the floor. Apply the stripping solution with a mop. Scrub the floor with the standard floor machine using a stripping pad and recover the solution with the wet dry vac. As with the automatic scrubber, use the doodle bug to scrub baseboards and hard to reach areas and then squeegee the solution into the path of the wet dry vac for pickup. None of the Betco rinse free stripper products require a flood rinse, but we do recommend the use of a detail rinse for areas the scrubber may have missed or for hard to reach areas. Fill the auto scrubber with clean water and detail rinse the entire area. If an auto scrubber is not available, detail mop the floor with clean water. Once the area is completed, use a mop and rinse bucket to perform a detail rinse on the edges to reach any area the scrubber may have missed. Wring the mop out to keep the floor from getting too wet. Allow the floor to dry. A fan may be used to speed this process. Check the floor with the palm of your hand to be sure there isn't any residue that may interfere with the new floor finish. If a white powder comes off on your hand, you'll need to detail mop again. Your objective is to have a clean, dry, film-free floor to begin the application of the new finish. The preferred method of applying floor finish is with the Betco Quick Coat 2 applicator system. This tool will quickly and effectively assist you to professionally apply floor finish. Start by rinsing out the applicator mop and attach mop and head to the handle. Choose the appropriate Betco floor finish and place it in the Quick Coat 2 backpack. We recommend first puddling the finish to saturate the mop head. Simply squeeze the trigger to release the finish as needed. If the finish is to be applied close to the wall, then run the applicator sideways along the wall first. There are different techniques for applying the finish, but the following is recommended. First, box out the area to be finished, but no larger than 8 feet by 20 feet. Squeeze the trigger as you outline the area to apply enough finish on the floor. Use an overlapping figure-eight motion to evenly spread the finish. 
If more finish is needed, squeeze the trigger as the applicator head passes in front of you versus on the turns. Do not constantly squeeze the trigger or too much finish will be applied. The weight of the applicator head and the overlapping figure eight motion will evenly spread out the finish. Any ridges can easily be corrected and smoothed over with the applicator. Add more finish if streaking is apparent. Typically, 1,000 square feet can be coated in less than 10 minutes with Quick Coat 2. Simply use a can liner to store your applicator between coats. To change bags, turn the valve to the off position and unscrew the L connector and tubing. Attach a new bag and turn the valve back on. If the Quick Coat 2 applicator is not available, place a plastic trash liner in a clean bucket with a ringer. Choose a floor finish that best fits your maintenance program and desired level of appearance. Using a clean and well rinsed out finish mop, apply the finish to the floor. Start by boxing out the area to be finished, normally no larger than 8 by 20 feet. Then apply the finish using an overlapping figure 8 motion. To prevent buildup of finish along the edges, keep the first and last coats of finish approximately one tile's width away from the wall. Conventional floor finish will require approximately 30 minutes to dry under normal temperature and humidity conditions. After 10 minutes of drying, you can increase the airflow in the room by using a floor fan. Position the fan toward the ceiling to circulate the air. However, if you're using Betco Express fast drying floor finish, you may use the drying fan immediately after the finish is applied. This finish will dry and cure within 10 minutes. Because the floor has been completely stripped, multiple coats of finish will be applied. Consult label instructions for the proper number of coats. Now that the entire area has been stripped and recoated, it's time to begin the cleanup process. Clean equipment works better, lasts longer, and will make your next floor job easier. Remove the squeegee, floor pad, and pad drivers from the scrubber. Rinse with hot water and hang to dry. Drain and rinse out the recovery tank on the scrubber. Check the batteries and recharge if necessary. If you used a standard floor machine, remove the pad and pad driver and rinse the soil from the pad. Drain and rinse out the wet dry vac. Remove and rinse the squeegee blades and wipe the outside of both pieces of equipment. Completely rinse and wipe down all other equipment, including the quick coat applicator, and return them to their proper storage area. Now that everything's cleaned up, let's review what we've accomplished. When the floor will no longer respond to routine and interim maintenance procedures, it's time to completely remove all old layers of finish and replace them with new. Remember the steps we performed. One, gather supplies. Two, Perform the stripping procedure. Three, detail rinse the floor. Four, apply new finish. Five, clean the equipment and restore supplies. Remember to use Betco professional floor care products and equipment to keep your floors looking great for years.